every celebrity that you might think of in America currently is either planning a trip to Ghana or coming to Ghana. I mean, it's mind boggling. A few years ago, everybody was going to South Africa. Now, any early celebrity is planning their trip to Ghana. You doubt me, Kendrick Lamar was here, Chance the Rapper was here, Ari Lennox was here, Steve Harvey was here. I mean, who hasn't been here? If you wanna know why Ghana is the eat home for celebrities in Africa, stick around to find out. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the vlog. My name is Andiro Ganga. If you're new to the channel, welcome and hit the subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome to the channel. We really, really, really love guests here. Now today I just wanted to jump on here and talk to you guys a little bit quickly about a trend that I have been noticing is of things that are happening in Ghana. So Ghana is officially overtaking South Africa as the ideal celebrity hub in Africa. And if you think I'm kidding, let me just tell you, any A-lister that you know currently has been to Ghana or is planning a visit to Ghana. Chance the Rapper was here. Kendrick Lamar most recently was here um, doing the promotion of his album. He did a private listening party. Um, he shot a documentary with Spotify, met some of the Ghanaian influences, you know, so he came here and it was such a surreal moment for him for, from those who like interacted with him, he was just enjoying himself. He was at the beach, playing football, just immersing himself into the Ghanaian experience. And he's not just the only celebrity who's come here. Ari Lennox was here some time back, and I remember she said that she felt like she was at home, like she just felt like this is it, this is so peaceful, this is, this is, this is the missing piece that probably she had been looking for and she had an amazing time. I mean, she was just like chilling at her hotel, posting pictures and just living her best life. And even when Chance the Rapper was here, he was like living his best life, making music, getting that inspiration. And he was even like telling Sack that um, the only thing that he hasn't done is getting into studio with him. So that tells you a lot about what this place means and does for these people. I mean, Michael Jackson technically is always here you know the comedian and when he comes he does a lot of charity work and just immersing himself into the community memphis is around currently i'm um, just enjoying the ghanaian experience meeting people um, doing his charity work you know um i'm just i'm just thinking of them at the top of my head elsa majimbo also has an apartment here i'm not even lying to you if you're lucky and you go hang out at certain sports in Accra, you're likely to see Elsa Majimbo. So, I mean, um, it's just a place where many, many people are opting to come. Many people are opting to come and visit. And even before we get to the why, if you go back like um, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018, the ideal destination was South Africa. Like all celebrities, when they thought of coming to Africa, the first place that came to mind was South Africa. I mean, Beyonce has been to South Africa. Um, the Empire cast, when they were coming, they, they went to South Africa. Shalamin the God went to South Africa. And then I think when the year of return came and there was aggressive marketing and the history and the beauty and the culture and the people of Ghana were introduced into the world, people were like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And you know, um, South Africa was the eat place because it was always happening, you know, and the entertainment industry is very vibrant, like celebrities are there, you know, Anelem Dota, Bonang Mateba, DJ Zinkley, um, Trevor Noor um, went from South Africa to, do, to hosting The Daily Show, you know, so they, the industry is very robust and they're always producing like top tier actress, I mean, Nomza Mombata, um, there's this other one of the railroad, I will insert her picture. So um, it was just the most, it was the eat place. It was always happening. And that's why many people were opting to go there. And then the year of re return happened and people began seeing the significance and the importance that gets attached to Ghana. And people are like, wait a minute, this is where I need to be. And I think since 2019, people have been coming here, streaming in, having good experiences. And I feel like what sells Ghana is word of mouth, you know? Like, even for me, I know of some friends who say they wanna come to Ghana, not because of the pictures that they've seen online, marketing or advertising, but because 
of how they've had me describe Ghana to them and describe Ghana in my in my videos and they want to experience that and when I say that what's that the culture one Ghana's culture is very robust I mean um, different people have different cultures and they're just so immersed in it like they are a people who know who they are and they're truly proud of who they are from speaking their language to eating their native food to the way they dress to the way they live it's very authentic it's very real it's very true to who they are and sometimes some of these people who've lived abroad you lose a sense of yourself you become extremely westernized that a part of you sort of goes missing or you don't know who you are anymore outside of the social conditioning that you've been given so i think when these people come to ghana particularly celebrities and you know um particularly musicians and artists there's that thing there's that creative process that heavily depends on you staying true to yourself can you tap into yourself and into your core and create something out of that and i feel like ghana is a nice place that reminds them of what true authenticity to self can be and that's why most of them opt to come to Ghana and I also feel like um, the creator scene here is very like solid you know like um, you can't take away from Ghanaian artists you know like right now there is um, I know him I said black sheriff like he is the it he's the real deal and if you listen to the music that he's creating, it's straight from the heart, you know. It's music that people can relate with. It's very authentic, very raw, very real writing. And every artist wants to be around someone that thinks like that. It's like there's a fire that's burning inside Black Sheriff, you know. And also like Sakis King, obviously, like, I mean, Chance the Rapper was on Twitter saying the only thing that he hasn't done is jumping into studio with him. So that, that is one part of it. Then when you come to the food, I mean, I've spoken about this and I will speak about it again and again and again. The Ghanaian food is like an experience, you know, and it's something that I didn't know when I came to Ghana. I was like, ah, oh, this is different. Why are you mixing a lot of things? Why, why? And then I realized it's an acquired taste, but it's very, one is very traditional, very authentic, very true to them from preparing it to the way it's served to the way it's eaten it's just it's an experience in itself and it's it's a it's a gift that keeps giving today you can eat fufu tomorrow you can eat banku and then there's kontomre and then there's akple and then there's um yeah help me comment down there's jollof there's wache comment down below um all the exotic foods that people can try the other thing that i think a lot about is people come here for the people you know um, most of the time I think sometimes when celebrities go to places because we know you're a celebrity there's there's a way you're treated as a celebrity I think when you come here you're just treated as a person and it's that it's that thing that keeps them coming and allows them to keep coming because also I think when you're a celebrity you get used to that demigod status and sometimes it's a little bit annoying, you know? And so I, I, I wasn't surprised when I saw Kendrick um, playing football at the beach with kids. Um, I wasn't surprised when I saw him buying our pure water and drinking because you just want to feel human again. By the way, I'm sitting on the floor, okay? You want to feel human again. You just want to connect with nature, with, with I, I don't know how to put it you guys help me explain this but I just know that there's something about the people and the way they live it's such a simple content life and it sort of rubs off on you you know and um, it's just nice to see some of these people come here also don't forget that we have a really solid nightlife like it's always happening here you know Monday is happening Tuesday is happening Wednesday is happening and it's not rache kind of happening it's good vibe good energy people having fun kind of happening and also i think that um the historic value of ghana so many people particularly black celebrities who've grown up in america excuse me does that does that need to reconnect with who they are you know does that need to 
walk yourself back home there's that is it's sort of like i don't want to say a gap but sort of a gap and ghana is like that missing piece some might never fully get to know who they are or where they came from but to be here to go to the slave castles to see the roots to just know that this was once a place where the ancestors, irrespective of where you come from, where the ancestors were bundled up in, in ships and sailed off to be slaves in different parts of the world. It's some form of closure for them, you know. And um, I feel like many come here on a journey and they, they don't come as celebrities, they come as people, you know. And that is something that many countries cannot offer them. For example, my homeland, Kenya, where it is a good tourist destination, is among the leading in Africa, but is a luxury destination. So you go to chill, re unwind, relax, very beautiful experiences, but still, I don't know, it's still, it's still some sort of soft life. To come to Ghana and experience Ghana is mostly like you're, you're you're stripping yourself of what you think you know and being ready to experience yourself in a new way. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? It's just from everything that I have seen. And also, I mean, Nigerians, some Nigerian artists live here with kids, technically. Tiwa Savage, they're always here, like they're always here. And that tells you a lot about this place. It tells you a lot about also the creative space. It's really growing. Um, Ghanaian artists are beginning to get the respect that they deserve. Ghanaian music is just like shattering boundaries and going across borders and just being the real deal. So, I mean, it's, it's a good time. And uh, I think from now to December, we are going to see a lot more celebrities come in. And also just people who are seeking to reconnect with themselves. I think that's, that's the thing. If you're seeking to reconnect with yourself, or maybe you feel like there's a puzzle that's missing. Guys, the ancestors did something here. This is the place to be. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again next time. Next week, I have a really, really big announcement. Do not miss it. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.